Uh, yes, uh, number five came along and we bought a dog. Uh, that was... Uh, that was uh, that was the end of that. But uh, I must say, uh, Mr. Ferens, uh, we're all jealous of the affection that uh, that Christina has shown you. Uh, but uh, it really is a pleasure and honor to welcome you here for this Holland on the Hill event. Uh, this is something as uh, the Republican co-chair of the. Uh, uh, what we call the Dutch caucus, but I, more importantly, the Friends of the Kingdom of the Netherlands uh, caucus uh, is, uh, uh, is, is a true honor and a pleasure. And yes, I represent Holland, Michigan. I was born in Zeeland, Zeeland, uh, surrounded by the uh, uh, little burgs of Drenthe, Groningen, uh, Friesland, a number of others. Uh, and uh, there's a rich, deep heritage and history. Uh, my wife has a slightly more uh, recent connection. Both of her parents came from Friesland after the war and uh, immigrated to Canada. And then uh, she found her way home to the mothership of Holland, Michigan. Uh, and uh, we, uh, where those five kids started coming about. Uh, so uh, it, uh, this is really a special program. It's a special time, a special day and a special award. Uh, this was something that uh, when uh, we were talking about ideas and ways to sort of revive and, uh, and, and increase the uh, sort of the standing and the, uh, the, the profile of the Kingdom of the Netherlands and of the work that is done not just by the Dutch government but the uh, Dutch companies and all that involvement, uh, the, uh, the work uh, that is done so importantly in The Hague uh, as, we, uh, as we have our justice you know, from the ICC as well. Um, the, uh, this is really an important place not just in Europe uh, but in the world and uh, we wanted to emphasize that. Um, this is, uh, this is a, a, I think, uh, obviously a, a time where an attention to Anne Frank is needed. A time where that attention to what has gone on in the world uh, is, uh, is needed more than, more than maybe it has been in recent years. And uh, this attention uh, that uh, Mr. Ferens that, uh, is, is re receiving is certainly well uh, deserved. And I, I shared with him last evening uh, my father uh, all fought in World War II. Uh, he was in Italy and was uh, in a plane crash in a B-24 and was a disabled World War II veteran. He lived to 94 uh, himself, and uh, it was something that was really impactful on me from that end before I met my wife, uh, who, whose family was liberated uh, by the Canadians, which is why they chose Canada, uh, to, go, uh, to go to Canada. Uh, and uh, and, and that, that sense, that feeling uh, of, uh, of what our uh, world has gone through in this last century. Uh, my namesake, uh, William Heisinger, fought in World War I. Uh, so we've had some, uh, we've had some uh, very, chal very challenging times in this last century. And I know we are all, all working for future generations and for future centuries to not have to go through what the last century did. And when we talk about the greatest generation, this is who we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about the men and women who went out and combated evil, who looked it in the eye and said, not on my watch. We're not going to allow this to happen. And uh, I, I, just, uh, I just was in awe of being able to, to meet you, sir, and I've uh, read uh, uh, quite a bit about you and uh, just the work that has gone on. And, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to, uh, or I'm sorry, I was looking forward to hearing you. Unfortunately, my constitutional duties across the road are going to be calling here momentarily, and I know that's why uh, uh, my uh, Democrat uh, co-chair is uh, going to be challenged getting here as well. But on behalf of all of us who have been involved with the, uh, the Dutch Caucus and the Holland on the Hill project, uh, thank you for being here and honoring us with your presence, uh, uh, presence here and honoring our recipients. And uh, of course, I would be uh, remiss if I, if I didn't uh, also recognize uh, Mohammed Al Abdullah uh, and the work that he is doing in Syria right now. And we had a nice chance to, uh, to chat last evening as well. And uh, just, uh, sir, blessings to you and, and the work that you are doing. Um, so my last, uh, my last little duty uh, before I have to uh, go across the, the street is uh, to introduce someone who has become a friend, uh, someone uh, who has served the Netherlands uh, extremely well. I'd be remiss if I didn't expand upon the very brief little paragraph about Henny Schuur uh, that, uh, that was given. Um, 
You know, Henny, this is your third, uh, this is your third tour, right, to the United States, uh, and uh, as ambassador, what a way to cap a career. But I can't think of anybody who has been a greater advocate for both the Netherlands and the relationship of the United States and the Netherlands. Uh, he's been tireless uh, and uh, literally tired this week as he flew from San Francisco to Atlanta back, uh, back here last night uh, for the dinner. Uh, and uh, as he was saying, not everybody in, uh, in the Netherlands understands the distance between Washington, D.C. and San Francisco <laughs> and then back to Atlanta. Uh, but uh, this, is, uh, this is a man who has been uh, tireless in pursuit of, uh, of that relationship and, uh, and uh, we're going to welcome you up here, but I want to ask all of us to give him a proper round of applause as he uh, wraps up his career here in the United States here shortly in the next couple of months. So Henny, thank you for your work. <laughs>